Hey, what's up guys? Watch how easy it is for a student to join your Google Classroom. All they simply do is when they're on Google, they go to their waffle and they just go to classroom and click on it. Once they click on it, it'll take them right here to their classroom. And all they have to do is push that plus button and they're just going to pick join class. Since they're not a teacher, create class is not there for them. They're only going to have one option, join class. Watch this, join class, they type in that special code you give them, and all the codes are simply lowercase letters, so super easy. You give them that code however you want to give it to them. If you email it to them, put it in Remind, send them a letter in the mail, whatever you do, and look, I'm in. See how quick that was? 45 seconds, I'm in. Now check it out. Now I'm sure you want to see classwork and stuff. So let's see, you have your stream right here. Your stream is basically, think of like one big Facebook feed or Instagram feed. It's everything that's in here for you. So you could roll down and you could see it all. Every time they post something, it's right on top. Or you could simply just go right to classwork and you'll see your classwork right here. So I see, when it's posted, I see no due date. You could see everything else. So let's see, giraffes can't dance. Listen to the story for fun today, practice. I could click on it, I could view assignment. The assignment shows the same things. Now look, all you have to do as a student is whatever it asked you to do. So if I have to just mark it as done, that's all I have to do. If I need to add something in here, I could add something from my Google Drive, a link from the internet, a file that's on my computer. I could create a new document if that's what it asked me to do. But all I simply have to do is just put something. So let's say I'm going to put a file that I have. So I'm just going to pick a file right here. Oh, Peppa Pig. That's what I was supposed to do. I simply add it. If I want, I could put a comment in here, say, you know, this was so fun. My teacher is going to get that comment. And look, I just simply, if I want to send my comment, I just push that. Private comments right here. Now see, this could be a comment for everyone in class. So maybe you don't want to do that. Maybe, and you can see they could delete it easily. See, that was for the class. Maybe you want it just to your teacher. So you could say, you know, I need help. Oh, number two, you could send that. Your teacher will immediately get an email. They'll be able to reply. You'll be notified of your replies. And look, I could simply just turn in my assignment, turn in your work. Now let's see. That's all you had to do. If I'm like, wait a second, I think I did something wrong. Let me do it. You could simply unsubmit it and your work will be right there. You could work on it again. So super awesome. Now we're going to go ahead and go back into our classwork here. Now look, turned in, it shows it's turned in. It's super awesome. If I'm back in the beginning, upcoming work, woohoo, no work due soon. Yeah. But your teacher could put days that things are due on there and it's simply easy so we could check things out. So again, that's how your student sees everything. They just see all their assignment. They can click on things. If it's not an assignment to turn in, like this is just a material, that's a material symbol, then your kid will just see, oh, well, I'll read this direction and do it. But if it's an assignment, it looks like a piece of paper and that's something that you're gonna have to go and turn in. So I see different things on different days. It'll all be there. I could view all of my work and that's all your students need to know to do everything. Pretty simple. See you later, guys. Ask questions if you need it.